Hi everyone, I'd like to share my trifle with you today. It's perfect for Christmas as it's a little bit special, but it also retains those traditional qualities which we love. Firstly, make the silky custard by heating the cream until little bubbles begin forming at the edges of the pan. Slowly pour it over the yolks and sugar, then put your gelatine to soak in cold water and return the creme to the heat, stirring constantly until it thickens. If the line stays apart when you slide your finger down the back of the spatula, then it's thickened to the right consistency and you're ready to squeeze the water out of the gelatine and stir that through. Then just strain it and pour it into your square trifle mould. Then put it into the freezer to set. For the raspberry coulis, add raspberries, sugar, and a dash of lemon juice to a very hot pan. Allow it to cook vigorously for one minute whilst stirring, then push it through a sieve to get rid of the seeds and refrigerate it till cool. Next, make the ladyfinger biscuit. Once the egg whites become thick like this, add the sugar in three parts, whisking for a minute or so between each addition. Then once they form these firm peaks, Fold it into the yolks and sugar, which have also been whisked together, one third firstly, and then the rest. Lastly, fold in the flour, twisting the bowl in the opposite direction to help you. So then just pour it onto a baking tray and level it out using sweeping outward motions rather than applying pressure downwards which would otherwise knock the air out. Then after just a few minutes in the oven the centre should spring back when you press it down lightly with your finger. So transfer it to a cooling rack and cover it whilst it cools just to stop it drying out too much. Finally make a quick sugar syrup by stirring the sugar and water over a medium heat to dissolve the sugar. Then allow it to simmer for one minute and leave it to cool before stirring in the alcohol. On the day you're ready to assemble your trifle, cut out two squares of biscuit and brush the first square generously with syrup. Then spread the raspberry coulis over the top, just using a little offset spatula or knife. Try to go right to the edges and then cover it with flavoursome fresh raspberries. Then generously brush both sides of the other square with syrup and compress it down on top using some sort of weight to help you. Whilst you then leave it to compress down further, make a quick Chantilly cream. Once you see these faint trails being left by the whisk, add your sugar and keep whisking to this medium peak stage. Check the consistency scraping around the bowl with a spatula as you mustn't under nor over whisk. Now apply your cream around the perimeter of the ring, pressing it against the sides right from the base up to the top of the ring. Then fill that gap between the cream and the sponge with more cream, pressing down well and place your frozen custard layer on top. Finally, just cover with the remaining cream and smooth out the surface. So once it's set in the freezer, peel the baking paper off the bottom and to remove the mold, use either a blowtorch or wrap it in hot cloths like I'm doing here. As soon as you see a tiny gap forming between the ring and the trifle, lift the mould straight upwards in one swift motion. Then to decorate, I like to pipe on a few semi-spheres of Chantilly cream and then top them with some fresh raspberries. So using a small spoon, you can take some of your raspberry coulis, some of the leftover, 
obviously you need to remember to leave a little bit, and then drizzle a few drops into each raspberry. But be careful not to fill them right to the top, otherwise when you go to position them onto your trifle, given that you might want to position them at a slight angle like I do, um, then the coolie might leak over the top, and if it does, it's really going to destroy your decoration and really, really, really annoy you. So, um, yeah, so then place your raspberries on top, and then I like to take a raspberry and separate it into tiny fragments, just working along the natural lines if you can, and then just dot those on top. Another nice thing would be some toasted sliced almonds, given that it's a trifle, but I'm sure you'll come up with your own beautiful ideas. Then just leave it to defrost for a few hours in the fridge and you can enjoy it. Or the longer it's in the fridge, the more the flavours develop and it gets better all the time. Thank you so much for watching guys, please subscribe for more videos like these. I hope you each have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you next time.